Hey guys, Jake here, and today I have a Vespa Queen deck to show you guys. So, this deck is revolved around the new Vespa Queen, which allows you to attack um, 20 plus 10 more for each Pokemon in your discard pile. And it also revolves around Raichu, uh, which we've seen before. It Its attack does 20 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon. And so that, in conjunction with Skyfield, will allow us to hit for a lot of damage on, especially on Pokemon that are weak to Electric. For example, Shaman EX. Um, Lightning, sorry. I, I always call it Electric. Um, so, now how do we go about that? Well, we have the new unknown, which allows us one to draw, but it also either lets us fill up our bench, or it lets us... Um, send it to the discard and power of Vespa Queen's attack. This also goes well with Sacred Ash. Well, we have Sacred Ash just so if we discard too much of what we need early, um, because we're forced to, it allows us to shuffle it back in. But if we have extra, like, buffer Pokemon, because we need to shuffle in up to, f like, basically five Pokemon, if we have at least five in the discard, and so we'll be able to shuffle in unknowns for Pokemon that we don't need again, like if we have any extra Flareons. Um, and that way, um, it makes Sacred Ash a safer choice. Uh, I like Sacred Ash just in case, for example, I had to shuffle in two of my Vespa Queens early, or discard them. Uh, but anyways, so our next Pokemon is only two Eevees and three Flareons. Um, the reason for Flareon is, I mean, I already have... Grass and uh, lightning. I need some sort. Uh, I don't need Jolteon. Vaporeon, I don't think is too useful right now. And Flareon does allow us to hit grass types for a lot of damage, and it helps us in a mirror matchup. The reason I run three instead of three Eevee and two Flareon, or some sort of combination is one it allows me to discard flareons early to get damage on the b revenge and two it'll it means i don't want to necessarily start with eevee i think eevee is the second worst if not the worst start you can have because it basically wastes an energy attachment granted if you have a fire energy then that'll allow you to just evolve eevee on turn one so that can be useful but then we still have to worry about the one retreat cost. So, with this fire, we're going to run fire energy, and this allows us to utilize blacksmith as a form of um, mid to later game energy acceleration, which we can grab over and over with our Versus Seeker. We run three of them. Now, there isn't too much like that it looks that we can battle Compressor, but there's actually a lot, so with Battle Compressor, it gives us a pseudo supporter um, with Battle Compressor and Versus Seeker. Uh, things that we want to discard, if we if we look through and we see we have all three Flareons, we can go ahead and discard one or two of them, um, as we can just grab that with a level ball, uh, as Flareon has 90 hit points. So other things that we'd want to discard besides Pokemon uh, to power up Bee Revenge would be things such as Blacksmith, um, Sycamore, uh, er, especially early in case we only have a Versus Seeker in hand. Um, and then we can also compress her some Fire Energy to make sure we can get a good Blacksmith off when we draw it, or if we pull it out with a Versus Seeker. Um, and then other choices is just getting rid of cards we don't need. For example, if we're against a matchup that also uses Skyfield, we can discard ours or our extra ones. And I find that it's just a really versatile card that it depends on where, what stage of the game you're at. If you need to discard extra Raichu or extra anything just to um, hit a certain damage number for your Vespa Queen, then you can do that. You can discard... I generally like to discard Blacksmith, um, extra Flareon I don't need, and Fire Energy early on, but... If I need a Sycamore, I can discard a Sycamore as well. And overall, there's a lot of choices, and there's just many things you can do with this Battle Compressor, and it really affects how the rest of the game will play out. Uh, let's see, what haven't we talked about? 
we run one escape rope just in case we need to retreat with something like Shaman or Flareon or if we need to pull up one of their Pokemon or get rid of something they have in the active. Um, we run four DCE and four fire. I've already talked about the fire but the DCE is basically for Circle Circuit and Be Revenge. Um, and the fire is just there as backup because we will be able to blacksmith both the Raichu and the Vespa Queen as their stage one, so they'll technically have fire typing with Flareon's ability. This is new with Ancient Origins, um, and why this deck can be so strong. Um, so, for level ball, this allows us to grab everything except for the Shamans, and then we have two Ultra Ball to discard things we don't need, um, or discard things like the Blacksmith, um, and allows us to search for Shaman if we need that. So, that's pretty much the deck. Um, I think the only card I haven't talked about is Muscle Band, where you run three of them. That's just a pretty good number to run of Muscle Band. Uh, and yeah, so let's get this deck in action. Um, I will be back in one moment. Alright, so I'm going to click Heads. I'll lose the coin flip, that's okay. Um, so I think the worst thing I can start with is Eevee, or Shaman. Uh, gonna start with a Pikachu, that's not bad. Um, don't quite have the best of starting hands though. I need to draw some sort of like Battle Compressor or maybe a Sycamore or Shaman or Ultra Ball. I think one of those cards drawn will be pretty good. But we will have to see. Uh, he attaches Heart Charm, puts me to sleep, that's unfortunate. If I evolve, um, I'll be able to lose the poison, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose my Pikachu before that happens. Especially with the Fur Bank. Uh, this is not good. So here's a new card with Ancient Origins. Um, its attack will do 130 if I'm poisoned. And I wake up, but I'm not in a good spot. With, hmm, how do I want to do this? Well, I am in trouble to say the least. Um, I'll grab a combi. And I think I actually want, because I want to preserve the Pikachu if I can. And... The best chance for that is to get a Tails, and I do get Tails, which is nice. If he doesn't play Verbank, then Pikachu will live, and hopefully I draw something which will let me evolve it. The reason I search for Vespa or for Combi instead of like a Raichu is because it's way too risky. Um, he gets the Airy Airy in play. Well, poison. I'll basically always be poison. Um. So, one, it's too risky, but then also, um, Vespa Queen will have free retreat. So, if I do get knocked out, I'll at least be able to retreat into whatever I want. Huh? He shouldn't have been able to attack, right? Oh, if heads. Oh, I thought it said if tails. Well, that's unfortunate, and I don't really have much right now. Um, I'm going to draw. Yes, please. Okay, so I do draw some good cards. Um, if Vespa Queen survives, survives this turn, I'll be in a good place. Well, not good, but I'll be in a place. I'm losing two versus Seekers and a Sycamore. Furbank. Luckily, he can't poison me with Ariados because it only works um, on Pokemon that aren't Grass-type. Um, and he won't be able to wood blast. He'll just be able to dark forest. 
No, now he'll be able to wood blast. Or each grass energy attached, so that's 70. So I do survive. Um, hopefully I get a good sycamore. Um, how do I want to go about this? Definitely attach here. I think I need to grab... Let me only count my discard. So I only have two. So I, I definitely need to grab an unknown and just draw. And discard these guys. Um, so that's a pretty good draw. I'll put my attachment on Flareon so I can retreat. Um, and let me count. So that's four. And he has 180, but he does have a heart charm. Which I need to double check. After weakness resistance. So... 20 plus 40 is uh, 60, plus muscle bend is 80, which is 160, so 140. So I need two more Pokemon of the discard. Grab a Flareon. Um, the only Flareon, so what else do I want to put in? I can put in an Eevee. And... I don't want to put in a Raichu because I'm about to discard one next turn. So I will put in a... Um, I'll just put in the Unknown. And that should be a knockout. Yeah, for sure. Ugh. Um, I did not want the DCE right now since I'm going to have to Sycamore, or almost certainly. Um, as I will be losing, if he has any sort of energy, I will be losing, um, my Vespa Queen. But, I could attack with Flareon, I mean, 160, but with the, so if I, if I flipped heads, I would get a knockout, which is kind of silly. Um, yeah, so that, there, there'll be a knockout there. Place the Verbank. That's unfortunate. But if I don't get heads and I lose the Flareon, that is really bad. Um. So it's. I'll see what I draw. If I draw a level ball, I'm in a really good spot. Well, not really good, but you know what I mean. If I don't though, do I go for uh, do I go for a coin flip? I do have Sacred Ash, so I'll, I'll go for it. Um, Cause I have Sacred Ash, I can bring back some of these guys. Actually, hmm. I'm discarding another Raichu, so let me just put the Pikachu back and grab an Eevee. Um, and I will Sycamore. Wow. Um, perfect. Uh, some sort of leg. There we go. Um, what do I want to grab here? I might just want to start setting up another EV. Um, and I'll just put down Shaman. Another Pikachu. I have the other Flareon, so... Yeah, this is a pretty good spot. I'm going to Heads? Nope. Um, unfortunate, but at least I'm set up for the next turn. If I can knock out the, uh... The Sceptile EX, then... He doesn't have anything else right now. Um... So heals for 30... Uh, let's see. I still have plenty of Pokemon in the discard. Um, oh yeah, so this, in case you haven't seen it, when you attach it, it'll heal your grass Pokemon for 30. He plays N. That is bad, but I do get an out. I'll just have to draw seven pretty good cards. Um, we will have to see. 
So my deck is um, X Y on. This guy's isn't, but that's fine. I'll send out the right or Pikachu because I can evolve into Raichu this turn. Actually, do I want to do that? I can just go for this. I'm gonna go for the safer play and Ultra Ball these guys and grab the Flareon. And now I'll grab Sycamore, even though um, it's. It's just one less card that I have to draw in order to win. Um, so here it's about what's most valuable, and I think the Raichu is more valuable, um, as I could Lysander up Shaman. So I'm going to keep the Raichu. And I can also take this time to see what do I have that I want to discard. I don't want to see these guys, and I don't want to see the combi. So each of these draws, except for the Sycamore, will be fine. If I get the Lysander or the... I guess I'll need more than one draw, um, but this gives me the best options. So I will discard those. Do I need the Ultra Ball? If not, I could also just Ultra Ball these away and, um, I mean, sorry, I mean Muscle Band. And I'm going to grab the Raichu. Oh, and he taps out. That's strange. I think he still could have won. Um, but I did pretty, I think I pretty much had it. Um, I mean, it depended on what I drew, but I had a pretty good chance to draw. Um, but we'll go ahead and do one more game. Alright guys, we get another match. And keep that in hand. So we're against a grass deck. Um, it's risky to sycamore this out. Um, and I can't really draw just one with Shaman. That's kind of risky as well. But I, I don't want to lose all my Flareons. But I'll go ahead and sycamore. Place this down. We'll level ball see. Did I make a mistake? One of them is prized. Um, so that is unfortunate. So what do we want to level ball for? Uh, we have a combi. I might just want to level ball for the unknown. And we'll put these two guys down. Uh, discard a fire. We already played a sycamore, so I'm actually just gonna discard. And then where's the blacksmith? Get those guys in the discard. And I will end my turn here. So I either need to find the sacred ash, or I need to get one off the prizes, which seems more unlikely. And then I should be in a pretty good spot. But until then. I need to tread carefully. I will have to, I mean, I have two extra draws, so I'm not worried about top decking. I am a little bit, but we'll just have to see what he does. Trainer's Mail. Verbank. Oh, man. Bank really makes this deck do a lot of damage, but at least, um... Actually, if he gets a Grass Energy, he'll be able to knock me out if he gets heads. Oh, that's that'll be a pain. So this deck that he's running benefits a lot from Verbank. Luckily, it's rotating out, so in Standard, this won't be an option. Shauna, does he find the Grass? Yes. Oh, this is going to be a pain. Tails? Nope. That is a pain. Really unfortunate. Um, so that's one DCE gone. What do I draw? So I get a level ball. That's pretty good. Let's let's draw some more. Nice. Okay, so level ball. Um, 
I'll just grab Vespa Queen. And then we will Sycamore. And I need to just start playing cards. Um, I'm going to do this just to... What do I want to discard? I'll discard another Battle Compressor. Um, and that's it. Actually, I'll discard the... I'll keep the... Uh, do I want to discard it? Sure. And now I'll go for a... Get rid of that. Um, no Sacred Ash yet. So I'll be able to hit for 130. Um, and I have a decent hand, but I really need to uh, either get Flurry off the prices or find that Sacred Ash, which is kind of counterproductive, but that's okay. Ooh, look at the full art. Versus Seeker 4. Shauna plays the Juniper. That seems like a waste. Alright. 60, 70, 80. So, unless he has the laser, I'll be fine. Um, unless he just goes for his first attack. Which will do 30 plus 30. No, yeah, he's going to go for the first attack. So, I need to hit Tails? Yeah, there we go. That's good. Um, I'm going to go for a big... Like a more... There's the Sacred Ash. And an Ultra Ball. Um, I'm going to Sacred Ash. Grab these guys. Do I want to grab... I'll grab that too. Um, so I, I can Ultra Ball, uh, did I, I put all the Pikachus back, so I Ultra Ball Pikachu, and I don't think I will need the Muscle Band, I'd rather have the Bench Space taken up, and I'll grab Flareon right now, um, now who's more important? I think Vespa Queen is more important than the Raichu. Um, but then again, I have Muscle Band attached. I can, I can draw, and I think I'll just do that, and I'll get the knockout. I think that's worth it. Yeah, I'll draw. So I do have. I can power up another Vespa Queen. So I have enough attackers prepared as long as my hand doesn't get disrupted to win the game off EX knockouts. Um, cause that'll be 200. Yeah, so I'm in a good spot. Oh, he does end though. Oh, but I do draw a Sycamore. And another DCE. This will be a pretty big Sycamore. Um, oh good, I draw another Sycamore. I'm going to play that, put a DCE down, Sycamore. Perfect. Um, circle Circuit for the knockout. Um, let's see, do I have another Seeker in my deck? Yes, I've only played one. Um, so I think... Oh, I should have another, unless it's my last two prizes. Um, I say that because things like uh, Lysander and Blacksmith can be really helpful. I, I can set up another attacker. I'm kind of done drawing for the game, except in Desperation. I only have five cards left. But I only need to take one more prize. Um, so... This deck is new with Ancient Origins. Um, once again, st with standard, Verbank won't be a factor, but I mean, he attacks for 130 and 140 with the poison damage against non grass types, just off two energy, which is pretty good. Um, and its mega evolution will allow it to heal. Ooh, he's going to Lysander. Flareon. Ooh, that was pretty good.
Brass. Um, it's going to poison me with Aerodose ability. And I dodge it. So if I get... Okay, let me... Hold on, let me count. One, two, three... F so I have all of those in the discard. If I can get my... No, not that. Not that. Let me... Actually, let me just make sure before I draw any more. I can get rid of that. Uh, what do I have? I do have... So it's like a 50-50. Um... I and mean, I don't really have another option that I see. I get it. Awesome. So, blacksmith. Oh man, that was close. Um, so with that, I'll be able to retreat. Uh, let me count some numbers. Actually, I can just fill up, um, fill up the bench. Go into Raichu. Circle circuit for the knockout and take this game. So I hope this shows you um, just a brief moment of what this deck can do. Uh, overall, if you're trying to build it in real life, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I think the most expensive thing are the right shoes, which you may already have. Um, and if you want to see this deck more, I'll be playing it on stream when I'm streaming. Uh, if you want to follow at Super Mario Poke on Twitch to catch me when I'm live. Um, and I might show this deck on in future YouTube videos or maybe with some changes to it later as well. Uh, but that's it for now. So uploads have been going more frequently uh, this week as I don't have any classes, but I start classes next week. Um, so things will slow down a little bit, but I have a lot of decks to show you and some more that are still a work in progress and in testing. So until then, I will see you guys next time.